Well, not many people can say they have Hugh Jackman on speed dial, but TV and radio personality Gus Wallen can. And after seeing a rise in anxiety around COVID-19, the mental health advocate didn't hesitate to place a call to his best bud. It's one of the great friendships of all time. Now with the Hollywood stars backing, Gus has launched CoLive19, CoLive19, an initiative hoping to get people talking and checking in on their mates during this incredibly testing time. Gus Wallen joins us live. Hello, mate. Welcome back to the show. Thanks, Larry. G'day, Kylie. How are you guys? Good to see you. We're good, mate. Uh, first off, for those who may not be familiar with us, uh, with it, uh, tell us about your foundation, Got You For Life. It's a great thing. Yeah, thank you. About four years ago, I did a show on the ABC called Man Up, and that basically challenged masculinity in this country and why we lose so many beautiful blokes every day to suicide. Uh, we still lose, lose over six blokes every single day to suicide. It's the number one way to die if you're an Australian male age between 15 and 44. So sit in those stats just for a couple of seconds and realise how awful that is and how heartbreaking that is. So I, I lost a friend of mine 11 years ago and he seemed to have everything and I never quite understood why he did what he did, left a beautiful wife and three children. So I went on this journey to try to work out why blokes are still burying their emotions and not talking about their feelings, not having enough sort of open, honest, vulnerable conversations. So Gotcha for Life was born out of the fact that I was talking to so many blokes on Triple M, on radio every morning on the Brekkie show and now on Saturday mornings. And I thought, well, I've got this wonderful opportunity to keep talking to blokes and let them know it's OK not to be OK. It's OK to bumble through life. It's OK to throw away perfect and just live the way that you want to live. Sometimes good, sometimes not so bad, not so good. So we're in this situation now. We're very isolated. Um, and we are trying to do our best to just let everyone know that it's OK not to be OK and bumble the way through. Yeah, so tell us about COLIB-19, because we find ourselves here in 2020 in this you know, extraordinary set of circumstances. People are isolated, but also I think the financial worries are, are huge and likely to impact on people. Mm. So tell us about this new way of Gotcha for Life is looking at COLIB-19. Yeah, I think it's probably the first time in a long time that social media actually has been used for good. I think everyone at the moment is pretty much up and positive. They're probably only bagging politicians or governments. Other than that, everyone is pretty positive at the moment. So I basically, I talk to Jacko, he's in New York most of the time, every day or every two days and stuff, and we FaceTime now, and I thought, and we do audio messages sometimes when one of us is asleep, so I said, well, why don't we sort of change the name to co-live, let's all co-live together, 19, 19 contacts in 19 days, so one a day for 19 days, where you just get on FaceTime, on Skype, on Zoom, on text, however you want to do it, email if you like, and just let someone know that you're thinking about them, let them know that you love them, and let them know how you're going, and if that's being vulnerable, letting them know that you're battling a little bit, then all the better as well. So just get in contact with 19 people in 19 days, and Jacko and I were the first one. He was he was he was struggling in the Hamptons, unfortunately, <laughs> just walking along the beach with uh, with Deb. He's actually fallen in love with this sort of Dutch bloke who loves that you know freezing cold water stuff. Apparently, you think better if you're in freezing cold water or something. So he was off to do that early morning jump in the four degree water, and we just had a chat. And I took a photograph of it and I whacked it on Instagram and then of course I'm now doing one a day for 19 days and hopefully that will build a habit that will allow everyone to keep on doing that even past the 19 days because I've got a feeling we're going to be in isolation, physical isolation for a while but it doesn't mean that we have to be in total isolation. This could be a, an opportunity to reboot your life and actually look at the way you're living, yeah. slow it all down and actually start working on the stuff that's really important. Uh, I said at the top, it is one of the great friendships of all time, you two, and uh, I've seen you two together and you finish e each other's sentences. It is adorable, <laughs> if nothing else. So it would, have been, it would have been easy to get him on board. This is something that you both truly, truly believe in very deeply. Yeah, absolutely, Larry. I mean, yes, you have, you've spent lunch with us and you're, you're our sort of bloke as well, you know, very easy going, lots of love, lots of, lots of cuddles. So it's a difficult time at the moment not to be able to yeah. do all that sort of stuff. But, of course, Jacko, he was here in Melbourne for three or four days because his wife, uh, Deb, was uh, directing Neighbours and he was about to come up to Sydney. We're about to do a whole lot of stuff for Gotcha for Life together. And he had to go back. His immigration lawyer rang up and said, mate, You've got, to, you've got to go back to America. We're not sure what's happening with the borders and stuff. Plus, he's about to start on uh, Broadway doing Music Man in about three or four months' time, so he needs to learn all the dance steps and all the words and, the, and, and so forth to the songs. 
So I didn't get to see him this time, um, which was a real shame. And, you know, I love him dearly. We've been best mates since Pimble Public. Um, Five-year-old boys on the first day of school sort of holding hands, walking into class together, and we finished school together and now stayed each other's best mates. And his life, of course, has gone through the roof, uh, but he hasn't changed a bit. He is the same person that he's always been, very modest, very, very likeable. And um, if people say to me, is he really as nice as you think he is? Well, he's even nicer than that, and you've seen that yourself, Larry. And yeah. uh, we used to sit there on a Sunday morning and watch... Kylie on Sports sports, um, sports, that sports Program on a Sunday morning. Sports World with our chalky move and, and a pie feeling a bit hungover. And uh, we're always in love with you, Kylie. Don't worry about were that. Were you still holding hands when you were watching Kylie or was that just at school? <laughs> no, I think we probably by that stage we'd sort of <laughs> broken that and worked it out. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Um, I, but I know you were really there for Bruce, right? He, 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 was, he was the main well, man. <laughs> you, mentioned ways amazing, to yes. you mentioned ways to check in on your mates and I love that. And you sort of touched on this, but I want to go back to it, Gus. How do you check in with yourself during this difficult time? You said maybe see there's an opportunity to reassess what's important. I really like that. Can you speak to that? Yeah, I certainly can. I mean, for me personally, I just write down a note before I go to bed every night. and I'm trying to keep myself into a routine. So I'm still shaving every day. I'm still getting up and doing some exercise. Um, I've been on a bit of an exercise losing weight thing for a few months and it's so easy now to be bored at home and start picking and mm. start eating the wrong foods mm -hmm. at the wrong time and stuff. So trying to stay really strict on that particular thing as well. So getting up at the same time and rather than giving your worker all that commuting time, if you're going to be in the commute for an hour, use that hour to actually walk the dog or walk the kids when you're could to school or just do something with your wife or your partner or something for yourself. Make sure you keep exercising, make sure you're eating well, making sure you're sleeping well. And there's, you know what, the other thing, people go, oh, you're so positive, you're always talking about positivity. Well, some days are going to be awful. Some days you're going to wake up and you don't want to get out of your jammies. Well, that's OK as well. But if those days become two, three, four days in a row, then that's probably when you have to sort of go, OK, this is becoming a pattern and I need to sort myself out. And that is normally through connection. Just connect with people that love you. Let them know truly how you feel. Don't BS them. Tell them how you truly feel and let them help you get through the funk and you'll come out the other side. This is an unprecedented time. We are out of control at the moment and we have no finishing line. So it's a tough time. It's OK to say it's tough. It's OK to have tough days. But you will get through it as long as you keep your connection. It's only an isolation physically, not in any other way. And Gus, what if you're like Larry though and you haven't got 19 friends? Is it okay then to maybe call, <laughs> like do it twice? Like, you know, yeah. is, would that it be is. okay? As, as, it is. It's harsh. If it's fair, it's, you can be one of my friends. I'll, I'll <laughs> Thanks, win you up, buddy. Larry. I'm very happy <laughs> to do that, big fella. Thanks, I mean, mate. But the and thing is, you're right. Some, sometimes people do say once you're over 40, you know, yes. we don't have as many friends <laughs> as, as normal. So mm. you do have to double up. That's fine. As long as you're talking to someone, brother. Right. <laughs> and, and what if you're like Kylie's husband, Tony, and you don't want to swap the hour of the commute to be with your wife? <laughs> <laughs> oh, touche. Touche. <laughs> see, see you, mate. Lovely I to talk to you. I think that's called one all. <laughs> yeah, see you, mate. Good to talk to you. Yeah, As always. Time, time Bye, Carly. See you uh, To learn more about Gus and Gotcha for Life, head across to our website and do what you co-live 19. Do that 19, one made a day for 19 days. It's a great idea. Gus just said that I could be his mate. Does that mean I get Hugh as well? I get Hugh in that package I don't well? think it's a two for one <laughs> or part, unfortunately. We'll be back after this. Thanks, Gus.